Guys, we have some interesting news to talk about today. On this channel, I've spoken several times about the rather impressive effort from one Ty Nguyen to bring Android 13 to Microsoft's Surface Duo, something that Microsoft has failed to exert the proper effort towards doing. And unfortunately, today I must tell you, the Android 13 project has now officially, uh, apparently, ended Although that is because we've moved on to Android 14, which saw its official launch. You can actually install Android 14 on your Surface Duo, and he says one or two. We're going to be working with uh, Duo 1 for this video. Let's take a look at what Ty had to say here. AOSP base with Google Apps pulled from the Pixel Fold, so this is no longer the Pixel experience. You can see down here in this message, if you just want to read that, I'm not going to go through all of it. You can read it down there at the bottom. Why it is AOSP now? He has added the ability to disable the hinge gap for Duo 2. Settings icon are actually pulled from the stock Duo ROM, so a little bit of familiarity there. Over-the-air updates are apparently going to be a thing now, which is awesome. Please use Pixel Experience Launcher, or I should say Pixel Launcher, for this build. Launcher 3 is broken. Expect lots of bugs. And then, of course, we have the link. So in this video, what I'm going to try to show you is the process of installing this. Now, I already have the Android 13 Pixel Experience ROM installed. So I'm just going to flash this directly on top. And again, you're going to see that process, and you're going to see uh, how this works. Now, before we go any further, I do want to make it very, very clear that the process I'm about to do where I'm just flashing 14 on top of 13 is not the same process as a fresh install. If you want to see the fresh install video, I'll drop it down below. You'll just have to replace the file I'm using with this new Android 14 file. I believe the process will be exactly the same as far as I know. If you're like me and you've already installed 13, this is how you're going to update from 13 to 14. So there's also going to be a link to this GitHub page. I'll actually just link to his threads post here so you can just see the change log. Click on the GitHub and it should take you, I believe, directly to this page. You can then download this image and it's going to be a .xz image. So I believe that you're going to have to actually extract it. So install something like WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever your preference is, and that'll allow you to unzip that. I don't know if that's actually done or not, but it looks like it might be. So we're going to try to right click it. We're going to do WinRAR and we're just going to do extract here. And I'm assuming, yes, this should extract this .image file. So I've talked about this a couple of times already, but I keep all of my ADB stuff in the root of my C drive just to make things nice and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Boy, that bug is really getting on my nerves. I'm going to go ahead and take this file and I'm going to rename it A14 Duo just to simplify the process later. And we're going to move it into the root of that same folder so that when I run these commands, they will be shorter and easier to do. If you want to see that, sort of what I'm talking about there with all that stuff in more detail, again, the link in the description from the other set of instructions, I'll go a bit more uh, in depth on that. So at this point, we're going to take our Surface Duo. I'm going to go ahead and fold it over into that mode. I'm going to plug it into my computer, which you should hear momentarily. We're going to authorize uh, the debugging, which will pop up on your screen. And now let's jump over to our other screen. And I have a folder of just like some quick commands. This one just simply launches ADB and prevents me from having to do the CD commands and all that stuff. But that's ADB. So we're going to ADB reboot fast boot, which is step number one. Your duo should then uh, reboot into the fast boot mode, which will look a little something like this. Then from there, what you're going to type in is fast boot flash system and then the path to that system file. Now, since for me, I put it right here, a14 duo.img, I can simply type in a14duo.img. It just makes that process much, much simpler. And I should be able to hit enter. And this, in theory, will begin doing its thing. Shouldn't take too long. And now, simply enough, fast boot, reboot. And we should be rebooting into 14. Now, unfortunately, I did run into an issue just now when I rebooted. This was the screen that I got. I ended up having to do the factory reset. Tried to reboot a couple of times wasn't going to happen. Did the factory reset. And then when it came out of that, when it was booting, strangely enough, it looked like this for a moment. I was concerned about what was about to happen. But then it did go ahead and boot up and allow me to go through my setup process just 
fine. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. Ty was telling people you can just flash, no need to wipe. So I may have run into some sort of a bug. I use the same commands as I used to update prior. So I'm not sure what's going on there. If I hear back from Ty and get clarification on that, I'll let you know. But just assume there's at least a chance you're going to have to do that factory reset procedure as well, which is not that big of a deal, I guess. So the first thing I noticed was that the corners of the screen are sort of rounded, but not quite in a in a perfect way. Um, obviously, the clock is being cut into a little bit, so that needs to be slid over a bit. But I do kind of dig the rounded corners of the screen a little bit. You can also see that I have the three-button navigation uh, on there by default, and that makes the taskbar actually be permanent, which you may or may not like. If you don't like it, you can jump into the settings, I'm assuming, and yes, you can see there's the uh, icons from Surface Duo. That's pretty cool. Let's go into system and then gestures, and we should be able to turn on gesture navigation, and now it is much more like the Pixel Fold, which has the transient taskbar. Of course, one icon is being almost completely eaten in the middle of it. You can still kind of get to it, but it is a little bit awkward to reach. If we jump back into the settings again, you can scroll up into PHH treble settings, surface duo features, enable split screen by swiping, disable hinge gap. We're going to turn both of those things on and we should be able to restart and see what that looks like. It did ask me there, it might have missed that, it did ask me what launcher I wanted to use. Make sure you do pixel launcher and then tell it to not ask you again. You're going to be much happier that way. Interesting that TikTok and Kindle came pre-installed. All right, so let's try the split screening thing. Let's jump into the Google app, and I'm assuming that means we can literally drag. Yeah, there we go. We can drag an app up and stick it over there, and that's going to launch the split screening. Didn't quite work correctly, though. Let's try that again. There we go, and that is really, really cool. In fact, I would love to see that on the Pixel Fold itself. That worked really well. So again, if we're in Google Chrome, we can drag it over there. Boom, we're into split screening. Open up a second app. That is really, really good stuff. And as you can see, the icons are being kind of split over top of that gap. So you're not losing any content. You just sort of have it being pushed apart. That's something some people are going to prefer. And of course, in your settings, you'll see some of the Android 14 stuff is here. In case you're wondering, the aspect ratio setting from the Pixel Fold does not appear on here. That's not part of the AOSP ROM, so that's interesting. Let's take a look at, how about the camera app? How is that working? Well, didn't open up that time. Camera keeps stopping. Camera may not be functional yet. It appears to me as though the camera app is not functioning. So you're gonna have some rough edges like that. All in all, I do think it is working pretty well. There are, like I said, some rough edges, but by and large, this is a pretty functional setup. I really like the swipe to split screen thing. Like that's really, really cool to me. I wish that's something that the Pixel Fold actually did. If I do hear back from Ty about those issues with having to factory reset, I'll probably drop them in a pinned comment down below to kind of help update you guys. Maybe I ran the wrong command or something like that. Hopefully not, because if I did, I might have to remake this entire video, which would be a little bit of a bummer. Let me know what experience you have, though. Do you have a, a similar experience? Did it let you flash over top or not? Let me know in those comments. If you have any questions about Android 14 on Surface Duo, things you want to see me test out, let me know, and I'll see if I can make that happen as well as usual, though. Big shout out to Ty for this incredible work. Links to everything in the description down below so that you can try it out yourself, guys. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.